Okay, this slope problem is similar to the last one in that we've been asked to find slope. The problem asks, what is the slope? And the thing that we've been given is the equation of a line. Here is the equation of a line, y equals negative 2. And I tell you that it's a line, so you don't have to guess about that. But to a lot of students, this doesn't look like a line. Because if you consult your um, GED formula sheet, or if you wrote it down and memorized it in math class, your math teachers taught you that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, mx plus b. And students say, hey, there's no x in this. Um, there's only one number, so which, is it m, is it b? How do I translate this? Well, probably, I have to tell you the truth, most... Um, mathematicians just have a, a really vital piece of information memorized about this line. They know that when um, this is all that's left to the line formula, y, whoa, sorry, equals a number. And it's just a constant number up here. It's just some number without an x, y equals a number line. They know, oh my gosh, that's a horizontal line. it has a slope of zero. But a lot of students don't remember that. So if you don't remember something, it's probably because you don't understand why it's true. So let's talk about why this is true. A couple different ways we could do it. The first way I wanna do it is just to compare it to the slope intercept equation here. So what you're gonna see is, do you see this number negative two? It's not with an X. It's not with an X. So I have two possibilities of numbers over here. I could have an M, but the M, the slope, is always the number with the X. And I can have a B. The B is a number adding or subtracting, but you can see it's not multiplying with X. Because this sucker is not multiplying with X, it is the B. It is the B, which means how many X's are there? Well, there's no X's. So I could kind of rewrite this thing. I wouldn't, but it could be rewritten as Y equals no X's minus two. And so that's one way that I could prove that it has a slope of zero because there's no X's. And as you know, when you want to say nothing or none of something, you could rewrite that as zero. Okay. So that's one reason if you want to think about it mathematically. Now, some people are like, Kate, those equations make very little sense to me. It looks like gibberish. It looks like Greek. I really don't get what you're getting at. So let's look at it another way. How about if I drew a picture for you? Would it make more sense that way? Let's take a look. If I'm saying y is negative 2, remember you can read an equal sign like is. y is negative 2. We have no variable over here. That means y is always negative 2. It's never going to change. It doesn't matter what x is. And so let's just imagine that x was 1. y would be negative 2. Or what if x was 1, 2, 3? y would still be a negative 2. You have to imagine that I actually have tick marks here. Or what if um, x was negative 1? y would still be a negative 2. And so basically the idea here is that um, my y is always negative 2. And you can see that I get this nice, flat, horizontal line uh, because y is always equal to negative 2. And of course, look at this sucker. How much is it sloping? How much is it moving um, up or down? Obviously, it's not. This is a flat line. And so it's kind of easy to see here that the slope, or m as we call it, the m is uh, the abbreviation we use for slope, the m is zero because this line is not sloped. It's not slanted. So two different ways I can prove it. But again, if it were me, I would just want to have this fact memorized. When y is equal to a number, we got a horizontal line. Slope is zero.